Hi, welcome to my second Deep Life blog in which I get to share what's on my mind. And what's on my mind right now is something that happened the other morning when I woke up and I was having the shower, which I often do, and I was going to go and do some meditation and instead I did something else, which I really enjoyed and I thought I'd share it with you and just like what it did to consciousness which is this. I, I suddenly was conscious of the story of Tim's life. Just how much like a movie it really is, this adventure we're on. And I thought, well, if Tim's life was a movie, who would be the stars of the movie? Well, clearly Tim. <laughs> He's in every scene. <laughs> He's the main man. Um, and, you know, my wife Debbie is obviously love interest and all of that. My friends and Pete, my comic psychic, and all those things. But it's wider than that. There's a whole host of characters who have really made this story what it is. And it's true of all of our stories. So I started just picking out the key players. Right the way back, just like, oh yeah, so... My mum and dad, they were big. Big in the story of Tim. And there was my best friend at primary school, Paul Templeman. He had a nervous breakdown. Eventually, what happened to him? And then on through the people I had adventures with, some I was very close with, knew for years, some I still know, quite a few, really close to with still, made this whole adventure with. Others, just for one special moment, something magic happened or something terrible perhaps sometimes some bad things but but often you know moments of exquisite awakening meeting oh my god and then gone and just a sense on doing that of this gratitude like oh you played that role in my story thank you you played that role in my story thank you thank you thank you thank you and you know going through a lot of friends who who, who are dead my friend Steve, who had AIDS. My friend George, who was an alcoholic. People I really loved that, that have died young. or But they the gratitude for, yeah, they were in my story. They're coming up there. When it comes up to starring, it will be, you know, starring George. Starring Steve. Of course, they were the central figures in their own story. But they were also in my story. And it kind of, why it really got me was this, this immense, you know, in, in all of them. I mean, not, not just the people that, you know, all the girls that broke my heart and, well, you know, all, <laughs> all the people that stood in the way and made my dreams not come true, as well as the people that, all of it has made this particular story. And what's so amazing about my particular story is just it's, that it is particular, that it's this story and not that story. And apart from that, it's, it's the same as any story. But it's my story, just like your story is your story. And when I came to write The Mystery Experience, I really, one of the big and very simple things which came clear and took me forward was that I really, I really had left behind the whole enlightenment idea, that what I was striving towards was some other was arriving at some place spiritually. And that what had arisen instead was that I really loved the journey. That I wanted to really love life. That I did love life and I wanted to be conscious of the fact that I loved my life. And that that was more important than anything. That what I wanted to share with others wasn't, oh, there's something wrong and you need to be in a different state or you need more. You, was that this amazing thing is happening right now. And we all want to love it. And I mean love it, not like it. Because it's not always likable. You know, I don't like the fact that my friend George died when he was so young of being an alcoholic. But I still love life. I still love it. Just like I love my wife, even though sometimes we fall out. I always love her. 
and I love my life, even though sometimes we fall out. And sometimes I think, I think life is not the way I would like it to be. There's a love of it. So, I just wanted to share that. I liked it. Who are the stars in your life? Who are the people that you can look back on? Who are the people, when the story comes to its end, that'll be, yeah, you shaped it. You played a role. A lot of people just walk-ons, but you, thank you. Thank you. You were there and you made the story richer. Because it's a hell of a story, isn't it? Isn't it?